Hello and welcome to the NSS series Newbie Gone. Natural Selection Studios.com. Yay! Good job. Thanks. <laughs> I'm smart. I make things go. Today in this episode, we're going to teach you camera tutorials, which is something you should master in Second Life. Yay, cameras! We're also going to show you some tips and tricks with camera controls that you can do in Second Life, which are going to be very useful. <laughs> We're going to teach them all the bad stuff that takes months to learn. <laughs> yes, yes we are. So let's get right to it. <laughs> Alright, let's go somewhere with more room. Ow! <laughs> Don't push me! We'll, we'll see, see if you take the last, last piece of toilet, toilet paper, paper ever again, again now. Now. now a trick you're going to need to have to know for later is pretty much just how to sit on something in which we're going to pick this bench here and me and Orchid are just going to sit on it. So you right click it and from the pie menu that pops up, click sit. Alright, now I'm going to pull an object from my inventory on the bottom right, the inventory button, open it up, and I'm going to select this. I'm going to click it and drag it and drop it onto the ground. Now camera controls in Second Life are very efficient to use. All you have to do is use three things. And that's Alt, your left mouse button, and Control. So example, zooming in and out, you're going to hold down Alt, and now you're going to pan your mouse over to the object you want to look at, and then hold down your left mouse button on it, and then just move your mouse forward and backwards. And that's going to move you to and from the object. Also, if you move your mouse left and right while you do this, you can circle any object freely while you zoom around. This is useful for when you're looking around walls, trying to find secret underground dungeons, or just doing a panty check. Which we do not endorse. <laughs> now we're going to show you more controlled panning. Use Control and Alt, press them down, and then use left mouse again. Now move your mouse up and down, or left and right. And now you're going to see a more controlled pan. And that, kids, is the basics of camera movement. Yes, yes. However, now for the cool stuff. <laughs> buttons. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, why'd you do that? They come with buttons, so obviously they want you to use them. I want to see what happens if you push it. Wire, blue wire, green wire, blue wire, green wire, red wire, green wire. <laughs> And we're back. All right, time for uh, the best part. Hey, 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 what you looking at? What you looking at? Another great Second Life tip, how to break into places. I have all apartments to break into. Why did we pick the one in the projects? You know, there is a good reason why to learn shortcuts like this. Sex balls! <laughs> yeah, and, and that's <laughs> about it. Now what we're going to want to do here is use an object such as the window and then hold down Alt while left clicking and dragging your mouse so you're inside the place. Now do the same for some object in here such as the table and then right click on it and then sit on. Now it's going to take you through any prim that's in your way or any object. You'll look a little goofy running into stuff and uh, then you'll be inside. Oh the glass is childproof! <laughs> That's definitely some mighty fine breaking in. I'm a felon. Now you gotta love a game, unlike certain games with 5 million people playing and they brag about it, where you don't have to walk all over the place. So, in Second Life, it's good to practice your camera controls, because you can use them for traveling. Go ahead and climb up walls and start walking less and just use your camera. The best part is, I don't even have to be in the same place my camera is. You know what another great feature is? The unrestricted camera distance. Yeah, 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 that was it. I know it sounds complicated, but it's not, so stick with me. Now, if you plan to use this, you will have to have your debug menu enabled. To enable your debug menu, you press Control, Alt, and D all at the same time. It's going to open a couple new things at the top of your screen. You're going to have to go to the top of the screen and select Client, and then Disable Camera Constraints. And now you can zoom all over the place. Zoom! Alright, now for the last lesson, 
and you'll be a master at camera angles in Second Life, and that's how to follow people and stuff. Hey, stalkers! Now what I'm gonna do here is follow Orchid. Yay! Now what you're gonna want to do here is hold down Alt and left click the person or vehicle or whatever that you want to follow, and then let them do all the work. Now be free! But I don't want to run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Fly! Now while you're following them, you can also still do stuff like panning around them. Just make sure you're wearing panties. <laughs> That too, and uh, make sure you're also clicked on them while you're holding down Alt and panning. Well, this is Bebop Vox and Orchid Glitterbook, and these were camera tutorials by NSS Natural Selection Studios.com. And you can find more at our website, which I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever it works for me. <laughs> I jumped the gun. I got excited. Thank you.